left one Charlie Globledge, he's still at the guns and or weapons and uh, security exhibition in Kiev, Ukraine. At the moment, uh, I'm at the stand of the Polish company PGZ, and I just took a look at their new pistol, the PR-15 and 9x19. Um, looks actually like a very high quality, refined, uh, conventional concept. Um, I took a look inside, it doesn't look copied, it looks like uh, an own invention. Um, it's refined for ambidextrous handling, it's refined for, as far as I understood it, has an alloy frame and a very, very light uh, steel slide on it. I have Lucas uh, right next to me, and he's the salesman of this company, and he'll tell you a little information about this gun. Hi, I'm Lucas. Uh, I want to do, introduce uh, something about a new kind of uh, pistol. There is the PR-15 Dragon. Uh, this is 100% its, uh, its base is coming from our factory. Uh, before, we cooperated with Walter about the uh, 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 mm, PPQ, PPQ, yeah, the PPQ. But the, this is the brand new uh, pistol. It's coming from our 100% uh, from our factory. Just like uh, said to Alex, Alex said, Alex said uh, there's completely different because because uh, uh, this is this is coming from aluminium uh, and uh, it could be very useful for the same shooter left and right hands. Uh, what is the what is the brand new? Uh, just like I've uh, I told already, the 100% is coming from our factory. Uh, there's uh, similar uh, bullets in magazine 15, uh, 15 uh, like like what before in different models. Uh, the the brand new we put uh, we put it down the Picatinny rail. You can you can you can use the, the lighter or some kind of optical system. And of course the the caliber is uh, 919 Parabellum. Uh, so this is this is uh, our golden golden charted moment. Right. Um, well, from a shooter's perspective, I can tell it's not a very ergonomic looking grip, but it actually is pretty ergonomic. So I'm having a solid piece of alloy, very, very solid piece of alloy in my hand right now, and I got a good grip on it. Also, what I like, there are two luminescent dots and a Glock like you at the back side for quick uh, sight arrangement and for uh, shooting in dark uh, areas. Um, of course, standard magazine, but pretty much like Grim Power or like Strike One from Arsenal, there is an ambidextrous Mac release, but it's not copied again because you are two separate buttons. I mean, I push this button, this button doesn't move. All right, now, due to its own weight, it moved. So, ambidextrous slack release. That's good, decocker. You guys may know I don't like safety from guns, I like decocker. And um, of course, Picatinny rail. Let's take a look inside there. Got a uh, double spring recoil system. There's a thicker spring in there. Of course, got a barrel with the Browning uh, petrol system. And we got a very light slide. I mean, I can tell it's very light. You can see cutouts here inside. It's may, maybe to reduce weight. Very standard uh, trigger safety. Um, actually, talking about firearms, we have to ask ourselves: Do we actually want something new, or do we want concepts that prove themselves over time? And this looks like a concept that proved itself over time. The uh, Browning Petro system, the trigger safety, and everything. Um, but refined again for ambidextrous ha handling and actually refreshing between all these new polymer pistols, polymer frame pistols to see th something that is so traditional yet uh, so modern at the same time with an alloy and uh, steel slide. Actually pretty slick to handle, I mean I got a grip, a good grip on it, I got putting it out, I can slap it and it's pretty quickly in uh, firing position also, you have the serrations here in the front. We can do uh, tap loads like this. Um, actually, very impressed by this firearm. It actually feels like, you know, when you have uh, the old, old, you know, um, undestroyable Soviet guns, but in a modern package. <laughs> feels undestroyable, but modern. So, thanks a lot, Lucas. Thank you, and all the best, Alex. Thank you very much.